title of the painting called Barrier. And um, what it is, it, it, it uh, contradiction between the uh, two uh, American Sign Language and Oralism. And Alexander Graham Bell is the uh, founder of Oralism, and he believed that deaf people can speak, which is not feasible for the deaf community. American Sign Language is the, the best um, communication, uh, you know, to a, a barrier to go across to each other. And um, there, it's still going around here right, right today. It's been struggling for a longer time. And my painting, I put it on there, is a symbol uh, saying no bridges allowed, and you have a fence and you have a little symbol of a bell represent Alexander Graham Bell and trying to prevent us using American Sign Language in today's society. And that's why I wrote the title of the painting called Barrier. I, uh, I believe that, um, that the, uh, the barrier of Alexander Graham Bell, that he used the word, um, he can fish. Uh, deaf people by using speaking language, uh, speaking world, and uh, it's not really a hundred percent feasible for for the deaf community. And uh, using a sign language is the most uh, incredible language that they can understand through it. And um, uh, back in the when the time period. Um, when Alexander Graham Bell uh, said that they know to American Sign Language uh, in the, uh, the we went they he they were at a conference in in Milan, Italy, in 1880, and um, it was the time that they, they all the educators were talking about uh, the. Should we use sign language? Should we use speaking language? And we, they, uh, they, we tried to, we did not have any deaf moderator there to say, hey, language, sign language is the best way to go or anything. But there was no one there to support that in 1880. So when they declare that we're going to go forward with oralism, a lot of deaf teachers, educators across the U.S. have been let go or fired and replaced by oralism teachers. And all the deaf tools where we've been replaced we and they've been doing oralism to teach. Now, in 1960, when I was in my school, my school was called Oral, uh, called Harrison Oral Elementary School. They used the word R O A L on there. And when I went in there, I was a star child because a lot of news reporters and everybody looked at me because I can talk well and I would talk like a hearing person. And they would go, wow. And they put me on the newspaper and said, oralism is improvement. But it's not true. From kindergarten to fourth grade, I would train like a boot camp of oralism. I have to learn how to speak. Uh, like I have to read lip. I have to understand the word, the B and the P and the A, the long A, all that, etc. Uh, we had learned about basic expression, body language how they cross their arms or how they stand or how they do all that. We had, we had to be trained to understand the human. That, I found alien to you, but. And um, we didn't learn anything about math, history, all, all that stuff. I have, I, I'm still struggling today mm -hmm. because a lot of the human people say, wow, he can talk well, he speak well, 
I'm sure he can hear well. No, I don't. And that, uh, that's where I'm having trouble. And a lot of time when I go to places, I don't speak. I use my sign language. 